remember was my Newport 28 smashing into the side of the hill and everything going to black. Thankfully, I later learned I was pulled from the wreckage by Private Cypher, who was actually a mechanic at my aerodrome. He got me immediate medical attention and probably saved my life. My stay at the hospital lasted only five days. Luckily, I only had a slight head injury and just a few flesh wounds, nothing too bad. I arrived at the new aerodrome by car. I was greeted by everyone and was told by Commander Travis that I would be going on an offensive patrol today. Apparently, German activity has been pretty heavy just across the front lines. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, so more Rise of Flight. Once again, we are in our trusty Newport 28. I'm going to go ahead and start the engine here while we are on the ground. I hear an engine way up there. I'm not sure. I don't see an aircraft. Okay, let's be sure we throttle down so our aircraft doesn't start taking off as we just uh, were waiting for flight lead. As you can see, it's a flight of three. We are going on an offensive patrol just right across the lines. It is one day. It is July 14th at the moment. And I'll explain why that is in a second, but it is just one day before the second Battle of the Marne officially begins. So let's go ahead and begin the takeoff. It's a beautiful day. Zero wind, actually. So landings and takeoffs should be, hopefully, pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take off and follow our flight lead. It's actually a very nice day. It's really clear very bright and blue i'm used to the gloomy scenery that the western front provides but this is a nice change i gotta say all right so we'll go ahead and take off and follow flight lead so unfortunately uh one of my sorties i did fly one sortie before this and the recording was all sort of messed up the audio was just glitchy and bad i'm not sure what happened but i managed to shoot down one german aircraft and one balloon and my pilot was shot, so I got sent back to the hospital, believe it or not. So that's why the timeline has progressed so much. And unfortunately, there's not really a way I can save it. It's, it's borderline unusable. I hated it. I was really upset about it. So we're starting here. And I'll show you guys uh, that flight whenever we get back to, to base. So I'll show you a recap of what exactly happened and what we shot and what medals we got. Because we did get a new medal. And we were sent to the hospital, and then there was a pretty bad spell of rain, which caused us to stay grounded for even longer. So Evan Ross has been wounded twice, back to back. <laughs> you gotta say, he's probably not too happy to be back in the cockpit again. Maybe he's a little worried. But uh, I, I like to think Evan Ross loves danger and just loves the thrill of flight. So hopefully... We don't make it three in a low, three in a row, but all things kind of happen in threes. But I hope we don't get wounded three times back to back. That would be mighty upsetting. So anyway, from our new aerodrome, the Western Front is, or I guess no man's land, is pretty far away. It's much farther away than where our last airfield was at. So it's going to be quite a journey. I will go ahead and probably cut the video here, and I'll get back to you guys whenever we reach No Man's Land. I just wanted to give you folks a brief update. We are currently flying over No Man's Land, and as you can see, No Man's Land in this area of the front is fairly wide. This has been a pretty brutal battlefield throughout the war, and we're just uh, cruising along. So far, so good. We have had no contacts with the enemy as of yet. So I will just keep you guys updated and let you know when that changes. Okay, we've been patrolling, been patrolling the front lines here and we have three contacts dead ahead. Look like uh, three Fokker D7s, so uh, a fairly even match in terms of numbers. Not necessarily equipment, I gotta make sure I avoid my friend there. God damn, that was way too close for comfort. Where the heck is he going off to? Oh, okay. This is kind of sketchy. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I avoid him. We've almost collided twice now. I'm sure I'm going to get in trouble for that. Oh, we have a contact right over no man's land. Looks like a two German two-seater. Is that what we are engaging? Sir trying to figure out what this guy wants wants from me okay i'm going to engage the two-seater 
that's what he wants. Let's make sure guns are ready. Uh, but we're turning. I think I'm gonna stick with him with those three Fokker D7s about. I uh, I don't want to get separated from the pack. Even though I have totally lost number two. I think that's him way back there. I hope that's him and not a, a German machine on my six. And there's a fight. Okay. I'm gunning it towards those Fokker D7s. Looks like a, a new port has gotten himself tangled up up here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take one of them out as soon as possible. I'll go for this one. Target acquired. That's a new port. Okay, good. <laughs> that was slightly worrisome. All right, we'll pour on the coals and gun it towards this D7. And make sure none of them are uh, maneuvering into a position on my six. Looks like a yellow tail, yellow nose. Uh, not very good first shots, but those are the first shots, so. All right, let's go ahead and whip it around and try to get a lead on this fellow. I think I got hits in there. Doesn't look like anything to his engine, unfortunately. Actually, maybe, maybe he does have engine damage. Looks like uh, there is thick smoke. Yeah, he definitely has engine problems. <sighs> Boy, that was way too close. I got good hits though. Right. Looks like he is trailing coolant possibly. All right, let's finish him off here. That was scary though. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort, I must say. All right, one gun's jammed, of course it is. Pull up. Uh, he's gonna outmaneuver me on this one. Six is okay. Gotta be sure to frequently check my six o'clock here. Especially, uh, mm, nothing too great there. Keep trying to pull lead, but it's just not working for me. I'll keep swinging around, and I think this might be the one here, folks. Now, let's go ahead and break off. And then... Boy, this is pitiful. right at him. I don't think he'll be surviving that, but... <sighs> and he's done. Splash. Alright, let's find my friends. And uh, try to regroup with my flight. I see contacts at my six o'clock. Let's try to get the heck out of all this Archie fire though. It's quite a bit of ground fire here. And I'm gonna gun it towards, it looks like there's Archie way up there. So I have a feeling that might be in my, my friendly flight. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get with them. I wonder how much ammo I actually expended in that fight. I feel like I expended way more than I would have liked to, but that's a pretty durable aircraft. And I want to be sure I actually it actually goes down. That's very important. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to regroup with my flight here. I think that's them up there. It looks like two aircraft, and uh, I'll get back to you guys soon. Okay, so as you can see, I've regrouped with my flight. Oh, boy. <laughs> Always when I start recording, something like this happens. I've regrouped with my flight, and we are proceeding to dive. I saw two contacts just up ahead somewhere. I, of course, I lose them now. But as you can see, everyone in my flight is A-OK. -okay. Everyone's alive, that's what really matters. So let's go ahead. We started a very, a fairly shallow dive, and there we go, bogey. Looks like another D7 with that yellow nose, so our second catch of the day. I'm going in. Let's 
try to take him out. Hopefully we have enough ammo. I do not want to run out of ammunition. Follow him down. Follow him down. Oh, and don't stall. <laughs> oh, it looks like this guy... I didn't get any good hits that time, unfortunately. That was a perfect opportunity as well. Ooh, there we go. That was a perfect opportunity just to shred this DR... D7. That was close for comfort. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't like how close we get, because if we ram each other, that's it for both of us. And I feel like that happens a lot. I've had uh, plenty of playthroughs end with me ramming the enemy aircraft completely on accident. Hits. Nothing too good, though. I wish my flight would come and help. However, it looks like they're engaged in a melee over there. Possibly? I can't really tell. Sure, gun's ready to go. Can't pull. Just don't lose visual. Make sure none of them are trailing on my six. It looks like my friends are coming in to help, thankfully. That looked pretty good from back here, but I'm not too sure. Still no damage to his engine. There we go. That looked good. Now I have to avoid my, uh, my friendly flight as well. As uh, avoiding ramming this D7. Try to stick on a six here. Oh, I think I got actually good hits there. All right, it's not going anywhere. Let's break off. Lost him. There he is. Dive down. God, man, I am not doing very well this time with this D7. This guy... Oh, there we go. I guess I have been doing some damage to him. Looks like uh, his stabilizer blew off. I'm out of ammo. I need to get out of here as well. And I lost. I lost him. Well, I think it's probably best for me to mosey on home. I have no idea where he is. I'm checking the ground to see if he crashed. I hate letting him letting him go like that but we will have to. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and maneuver home and uh, let this guy go ahead and land his airplane. Uh, looks like my flight, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm messing around with the flak, having fun doing little barrel rolls and everything. I wish my flight would come over here and take this guy out, finish him off for me. I guess they don't want to. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and as we still mess around, I guess I'll hang out with these guys with my low ammo, or no ammo actually, so anyway, I will get back to you guys momentarily. Okay, so we have made it back to our aerodrome just up there. 
Uh, the flight's kind of separated. We're kind of spaced out, but there is uh, my wingman way back there behind me, following me in. So we'll probably go ahead and land on final. There is no wind today, so that's definitely going to hopefully make this easy. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this aerodrome's so small, it's really awkward to land at. So I'm probably going to land... I'm like going this way here. Let's see where. I'll probably head going west, I think. Make sure the wind socket is pretty much. Yeah, no wind. Okay. We'll go ahead and drop down and come around for final approach here. Let me reposition myself. I gotta actually concentrate now instead of just cruising along. All right, so we'll go ahead and set our throttle to number the two setting. And come in. It looks like uh, another aircraft came in, just came in for landing. All right, we'll go ahead and come in for landing this way here, and just keep the aircraft nice and level, and it'll she'll just land herself. I actually want to throttle up just a bit so we actually land on the field. Okay. That was rough. That was not good at all. Oh, well, could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Oh, God, I hate landing this plane so much, guys. You have no idea. I was flying around in the SPAD, and it's nothing like this. This plane is literally the worst to land, but anyway. Well, unfortunately, one of our wings is messed up, but that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and uh, finish flight. So, here you can see, this is on the 29th. That is when we moved air bases, and there was where I got wounded that first time. Then this is the one where the recording messed up on July 4th. And I did get a medal, and I shot down an aircraft, and then I was wounded and I was in the hospital for six days and then there was a bunch of rain and that brings us to here. Now, I guess I can go ahead and go over our kills. Let's go ahead and move to the personnel room. Let's see. Do, 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 gotta wait for it to load. How about that? All right, there we go. So on the fourth, where I was wounded in action, I also was awarded the Crux du Guerrero with bronze palms, and I was also awarded the Distinguished Service Cross with bronze oak leaf, so making a name for myself. And then uh, we can go down here. I shot down a Fokker D7 from uh, Yasta 9, and it looks like this sortie on the 14th, I shot down two from Yasta 27, so that one where I blew off uh, chunks of his aircraft, it looks like he actually ended up going down and I, I got credit for it. So that's rather exciting. So I have, let's see, two, four, six kills, six aerial victories so far. So Evan Ross is officially an ace. Uh, he can't land his aircraft, but that doesn't really matter. Apparently, I was looking at it. Uh, let's go to headquarters. Maybe that's where it is. And freaking Discord just went off. That's annoying. Uh I can't find it now, of course, but any <laughs> anyway. Oh, here we go. So that's probably the new port I crashed. It only takes one day for them to fix it up. So uh, that gives the mechanics something to do, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I guess that'll be all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.